What's good everybody? This is Dario Hunt from Living Life Fearless and I'm back with another reaction this time for White Bronco by Action Bronson. So let's talk about it. Action is back. At least that's how I was feeling when I first saw he was coming back with the project. As you listened to it, it was more lowercase. Action is back. Action Bronson is and has always been largely one of the most interesting characters in all of hip hop. He could say damn near almost anything on the track, and he does most of the time, and I would find it entertaining. He just got that charisma, man, that's carried him extremely far in his career, a lot further than most people would ever assume he'd be able to get to. But I don't think he's ever quite reached his full potential when it comes to the music side of things. And a lot of people have kind of blamed that on the label, particularly for his major debut, which I personally actually like and revisit quite often. But now that he's fully, fully independent, once again, I was kind of expecting a lot more from him. Instead, what we got is kind of just been more of the same of what we've always gotten from him. Yes, he's wildly entertaining. Yes, he can flow on just about anything and make it sound great. Yes, he experiments with all types of different sounds and, and you know, compositions. And yes, he has some absolutely phenomenal production at times. But there's times when all of that comes together and to make one full package are rare. And on this album, it's even more rare than usual, I think. And I'm just, you know, scrolling through the track list and just thinking, uh, I'm not really feeling this one not feeling this one so much this is cool this sounds like an old action bronson song this sounds like another one i feel like i've heard this one too and that's the general listening to this entire project but there were a few tracks that really stood out to me the title track white bronco is whoa that production crazy prince charming is just chock full of quotables and those guitar riffs are special on Telemundo. But for a project that's supposed to be about an untamable beast, for the most part, he sounds very tame here. The whole time I just spent waiting for him to really, really kick it into that next gear and he never gets there. It probably doesn't help that every song is about less than two and a half minutes, but that's kind of been his MO for a long time. And He's always been able to take those short bursts and turn it into something special. This one, he just kind of plays it safe. So it's not a bad album. It's just a bit underwhelming. But hopefully this is just a warm up to something more and greater down the line because it definitely feels like that. But for those of you that heard White Bronco, what do you guys think about it? Do you think he really brought it this time around? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to head over to Living Life Fearless, the official website where you can leave your own ratings and reactions for this album, other albums, and everything else that I react to on the website. If there's anything out there that you would personally like me to react to as well, you can also let me know in the comments down below. If you like any of the gear that I rock in these videos like this and this, you can also head over to the website and grab some for yourself. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. I will be back shortly with more reactions. I'll check you guys soon. Peace.